Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my full review with spoilers of they slash them. I used to pronounce it just as they them, but now I actually found out that it's they slash them. Now, as always, all my reviews are with spoilers. If you don't want them, just to see if this was worth it or not, on the description box down below, there you're going to find my spoiler for review because I like to give you guys the two options. So, give me the little talk and disclaimer ahead. Let's get into the video. Now, being completely honest, I was hell excited for this film that, by the way, is available now to stream on Peacock. It came out on Friday, August 5th. Like I said, I was really excited, especially because we had the return of Kevin Bacon in horror and also adding the fact that it was going to be in a camp I mean after Friday the 13th I think that it fits but this was a messy disappointment like I haven't seen much reviews or opinions about this film but at least for me it was disappointment like this is the moment where I don't regret watching Prey first I already reviewed Prey this review was supposed to be coming yesterday but i was feeling sick like i was feeling really bad i pushed myself to do my prayer review but i just couldn't push myself to do this review until now so i am sorry for the delay but here we are the film basically follows a campers and an lgbtq conversion camp that injure uncertain psychological techniques while their campsite is assaulted by a mysterious killer so conversion camps are already creepy enough and a camp also so it's a combination between psychological and slasher which can be a really good out like this can be a really good concept like it sounds good but the film sadly it was so poorly executed that like i said it was a huge disappointment now the film basically starts with a scene that reminds me a little bit to the opening scene of wrong turn 2 when we have someone driving into the woods and it gets killed, but with way less blood. I forgot even about that scene until the very end, but it's irrelevant for most of the film. So that happens, and then we're introduced to the campers and the conciliars of the conversion camp. We see the different characters that we're going to be encounter, Kevin Bacon as the leader of the conversion camp, and basically the introduction of the characters. The first day at camp for them, it's fun. Like it looks just like a summer camp to the point that you know that there's this old fake life. You don't buy it. I didn't buy the fact that Kevin Bacon character was so understanding about these kids. Like, man, you run a conversion camp. You're not a good person. So they try to make this as a really fun place until things start to get weird and darker, but it's almost a one hour of the film those first 45 to 50 minutes of the film nothing really has happened like the horror elements mm -mm, no work like they even have a glee moment like they sing on the cabins and, and i was like i am watching a slasher psychological horror comedy what the hell is this i think that they try to combine those three comedy psychological and slasher but didn't work because when you tell me that you have a camp you try to make this as spooky as possible and if it's a conversion camp even worse and they have some scenes like they are not creepy but like psychologically like they're strong but there's even animal cruelty in this film, but just one scene and it's not that bad. I, we have seen worse, but still I felt like the film was missing something. So the killer doesn't really reappear until almost the end of the film, where it starts killing the conciliars only, because at this point, they have been like two to three days on the camp. And they want to escape already, like these kids are planning a way to escape on the morning. I can't blame them. And that night, the killer appears and starts killing them all. We have ones that are, well, the conciliars are hooking up on the bed and they get killed by the killer 
but we don't see it. We only see the blood. And it reminds me to Friday the 13th part 2 scene when they are one on top of another and Jason stops them throughout the middle. And it reminds me a little bit, even at some point, Jason Borges is mentioned. Like one of the girls is like, I'm just here waiting for Jason Borges to appear. And I'm like, were you actually trying to pay homage to Kevin Bacon's first film ever and one of the biggest slasher icons? Are you really? Or is unintentional? But if I find that a little bit funny. But if but after that, like it's still missing things. This is messy. Like there's some parts that were weird, nonsense, and like I said, the killer, like that horror element. It's nowhere to be found. Like, you don't feel scared for them only for the fact of the conversion thing, not because of the killer. And the killer revelation, it's like, oh, it was her. It's one of the concealers that is supposed to be new and is the nurse of the camp. And she killed the one that was going to be the nurse. So the person that was killed at the beginning, the woman... She was supposed to be the nurse, but this girl took the place. And the motive was because she was on the, on the conversion camp when she was a teenager. And this was her moment of revenge. And I kind of get it. Like, she has a motive. But it wasn't, like, that shocking. Like, who was the killer? She kills everyone. Like, all the conciliars there get killed. Every single one of them, including Kevin Bacon. And the protagonist of the kids, um, it's like, no, no more lies. We're not helping you because she's like, you can't help me to eradicate and kill everyone else from other conversion camps and end this. The character is like, no, I am not doing that. And the police arrives because the other part of the group, they were able to leave and basically start running and they were able to call the police. And basically the film ends with the group like all together and the kill and the killer being taken away by the police and all of them like embracing the part of themselves that they were trying to eradicate or hide that is their sexuality. We have some couples that were created on the process and that's it. And like I said, for me I felt empty. Like if like I said, if you give me a, a camp like I would not say a summer camp but if you give me a camp I need it to be spooky like really feel the slasher atmosphere it wasn't so if you're not giving me that if a conversion camp so give me psychological atmosphere nothing like just one two three scenes at tops and for how long the film is, I was expecting way more. Seriously, I was expecting so much from this film that definitely it's a disappointment. The concept, like I said, it was good because conversion camps can be creepy as hell. Of course, I haven't been in one. I don't know someone, but I don't need to pass through that or know someone to know how bad they can be. Like, for give an example, on the second season of American Horror Story that is Asylum, we have one scene on the asylum that is conversion therapy. And it's it's bad, like it's awful. Here it doesn't even get close to how bad that scene was. And like there's only one type of conversion therapy and it's with electroshock, but it's like mm-hmm. Okay. Like nothing. So for me, this film, it's a 2 out of 5 and a 5 out of 10. Like, this film, it's not the worst one, but definitely had potential, but they miss it completely. And it's sad because Kevin Bacon in horror, it's good. Bloomhouse being the producer can be good. And the concept being pretty original at some point and a cert to a certain extent being pretty original. But they just, they weren't able to really make it work. So like I said, it's sad because I was really excited for this film. But well, that happens. But well, I think that this is all for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, let me know what you thought about this film. Do you like it? You didn't. You're not going to watch it. Maybe yes, maybe not. You're going debating yourself. Let me know. And this is all. Well, this is all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye.